being able to source, create, or afford to find photographs for our projects and creative outlets can be a busy and time-consuming effort. Now, with Adobe Firefly's perfect integration into Photoshop Beta, you're going to be able to find all those solutions at the touch of a button with the new Generate Photo. Let's take a look at the new system in action. We'll start by opening up Adobe Photoshop Beta, which can be downloaded by the Adobe Creative Cloud. I've got a new file here. I'm going to go to Web, and I'm going to untick Artboard and put in the highest resolution that we can achieve, which is 2048 by 2048. Click OK, and down we go to Generate Image. Click inside, we get our Firefly interface, and we can see we have options of Art and Photo. We've already done a video on this in Art. We're going to look at photographs on this particular one. We'll get upload a reference video, and indeed we can add effects. We also have images for prompting use for use from Firefly. You see, we can click on the various ones here. I'm going to type in and change this particular old style 80s. I'm going to type in a cute kitten sitting. Change this up, tweak this up, sitting. And we'll just tweak it looking at a camera. And there we go. And come down, click generate. Give it a couple of moments. It's going to, the first one always takes the longest. And you can see it's going to create three versions for us over here on the right-hand side. Let's have a look. And I think that's fantastic. I mean, retro 1980s brilliance. Lovely three photorealistic images. It's amazing what you can do with this application. I'm going to generate another tree just to see that they do generate different options each time. Really like what I'm doing on there. But what I can also do is I can open up a reference video, a reference image by clicking here into my files, go and find a particular image, upload it, and it will generate based on the coloring and the styling that's been that particular photograph, giving me three very different versions. So you can see, lovely. Still keeping the retro look, which is absolutely brilliant. And I think we'd all agree, absolutely fantastic that we can do this within this masterful application. Firefly has also brought about some major improvements to generate a fill. It was always good, but now it's absolutely fantastic. If I highlight this section here and I click into my prompt as usual, little panda, generate, and I get a mm, fluffy, I, oh, I like this one. Yes, yeah, bit of attitude in that one, I like that one. Good, another version, but you can see very, very photorealistic in its final results. I can, if I'm not happy with that, I can generate some more and can generate till the cows come home, or in this case, pandas. I like, oh, I like the cartoon one, um, but I still think my heart is with the second one. More original, love the attitude of the arm and the eyes just get me every time. Super job, fantastic job there, Firefly. Next up, we have the all new singing and dancing reference image uh, effect, where I'm going to select around this particular plant, just don't like it. I'm going to select nice and around that, just an ordinary selection tool. I'm going to go down to my generator fill, click as normal. Within here, it gives me the new option to be able to upload a reference image or an image that we can use to take something from as a style. I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to remove the background from this, and then I'm going to come down and click on generate. Give it a little moment to do it to do. It's going to give me three variations on it. Because it was a nice plant with flowers, I get a nice variation. I really like this one. A nice selection around it. Not mad about the handle. Don't know what's quite going on there. Let's have a look at my other alternatives. Click, yeah, like that. Yeah, like that. I think I'll go for the second one. Yeah. I'm also going to make a selection here around the glass as well, because I have another image for that, just to show you how good this tool is. So swap around the element you want. Nice and tight, but not too tight. Click Generate Fill. We'll go back to our images, upload. I have a glass here I quite like. I'm going to upload. I'm going to remove the background from that too. And when I'm happy, I'm going to click Generate and give it a couple of moments to produce three Tumblr options from here. I, mean, I don't like the front or the top of that glass, really. like the second one. I like the third, but I don't like the blue reflection inside. So I think I'll give it a go at generating another three. See what we get. Yeah, like. A mm, little bit dodgy on the old glass itself. Mm, better. Mm, don't like that one. I think I'm going to go. But another great feature in this is called Generate Similar, where I can click on that. But I like one, and it's going to give me back three variations based on that particular similar tool. So I like I like that one too. Oh, I'm getting spoiled for choice here now. I'll have to taste them all. I'll have to scroll down. I think I'm going to go with this one here. Yeah, no, this one. I'll go with the first one as it is. Great job. Last up, we have the new Remove Background feature inside Firefly, inside Photoshop Beta. 
Let's go and look at the options here we can have. Down the bottom here, we have our remove background option, which will create a mask for us over on the right-hand side. Nothing new there, but this is new. If I click into remove or in, add in a new background, generate a background, I just type in a prompt for what I want to have. So in dog kennel on a beach. And I'm going to click generate. Give it a couple of moments to do its do. Going to give me three options. Mm, don't like him in a cage. Don't like that one. I ah, like that one, though, but look at the clarity of this of the beach itself. Let's check. Let's uh, put it on a football pitch. Let's see what he looks. That's where he should be. Generate, see what we get. Oh, very nice. I like that one. I see the third, second option. like that one, too. Third option. Eh, like it. Don't like what's going on to the left of the football there. But we have another option that's built in from this is where we can upload an existing photograph and use that as the background itself. So delete out that option. Click back onto my mask, and this time I'll use a newer option. Click onto this, I will find my generate image, place it in there, and there I've got him in his football glory to stay. And just reduce him down in size. Place him in position, looking good, dog. Happy days. I do a little bit of trimming here of the old artboard itself, bring it down to position. And there you have it, folks. Champion. Firefly inside Adobe Photoshop Beta, folks. I do recommend you go download it, give it a swing, and see what you think of it yourself. It just raises the game so much for it, and fingers crossed it's going to be rolled out in the next announced version of Photoshop for everyone.